The following information is based on fact. When I was a kid, I used to go to the tuck shop, or school canteen for those of you who don't know what a tuck shop is, and buy myself a sausage roll for like 80 cents and a can of coke for like 50 cents. The sausage roll came with a free squirt of tomato sauce, which the tuck shop lady always stuck inside the sausage roll. But just the other day, I saw a guy in a business suit sitting in a cafe and he ordered basically what I would call a sausage roll on a plate for like 27 bucks. But of course, it wasn't called a sausage roll, it was called something like patisserie de sausage, or something equally pretentious. Plus, the sauce wasn't free, you had to pay like an extra three bucks for a dollop of handmade salsa di pomodoro, essentially just a spoonful of crushed tomato on the side of your plate. Also on the plate, there was like three green peas and a couple of slices of caramelised carrot. Of course, he didn't use his hands to eat any of this, he used a knife and fork. He sat there eating a single pea at a time, dipping a small portion of his patisserie de sausage into the salsa. He then ordered a Coke for like five bucks, but of course, it wasn't just a normal sized can of Coke, it was like one of those mini cans. He didn't even touch the can, the waiter opened it for him and poured it into an oversized glass with an equally oversized straw. He sipped on that for a while while eating his peas, sausage roll and salsa, stood up, looked at his reflection in the window, straightened his tie, brushed his hair with his hand, and strutted off. I almost gave him a standing ovation, it was quite the performance. A couple of days later, I was walking past the same cafe, and there was a bunch of lycra-clad middle-aged men with their bicycles lined up in a row. They were sipping on their tiny little coffees, baby chinos I think they were, caffeine free of course. What were they, about five or ten dollars a pop? Of course they were leaning back in their chairs, arm resting on one side, wearing their overpriced cycling glasses and wearing their plastic clip-in cycling shoes that go click clack on the concrete when they walk. A couple of them were standing up to chat, holding their baby chinos, moving their legs around as they spoke. Obviously, the only reason they were doing that was to make that click clack sound on the concrete. At one point, I thought they were going to break out into a tap dance. A couple of them were still wearing their helmets, unbuckled of course. The way they were sitting leaning back in their chairs, drinking their tiny little coffees, you could just tell they thought they were the epitome of cool. I don't think they actually ever ride their bicycles. I went in and did my grocery shopping, and on the way out, about an hour later, they were still sitting there sipping on their coffees and talking about their latest water bottle purchase or whatever. When I was a kid, men used to ride motorcycles. They wore black bike leathers, they drank full-sized cans of coke, and ate their sausage rolls in their hands. Now modern day men have swapped out their motorbikes for overpriced push bikes, cans of coke for caffeine-free baby chinos, black bike leathers for brightly coloured tight-fitting lycra, and sausage rolls are now being served with three and a half green peas and a caramelised carrot on a plate. Fuck me.